Hello Eurovision fans. Happy Halloween. Let's see what you've come up with this week. What is the best slogan from the past decade and why? Share the moment. Feel your heartbeat. Light your fire. We are one. Join us. Building bridges. Come together. Celebrate diversity. All aboard. Dare to dream. Open up. Open up. I honestly don't really care too much about the slogans. And I don't really have a favorite, maybe 2017? I can't believe ESC 2010 was 10, 11 years ago. Yeah, I have these moments every once in a while. John's Tears nominated for Best Swiss Act in MTV European Music Awards. Oh, cool. Can someone please make this happen? Countries don't like us, it's voted on politics. What politics has kept Europe or other EBU countries that take part in Eurovision from voting for the UK? Blah blah blah, Brexit, blah 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 was probably gonna be the response. There needs to be a UK casual bingo card. Well, you can make a bingo card about anything. Virok Flamme Tour Spring 2022. There's a gap between 30th and 20th. Well, you think they're gonna take part, but actually they just don't want to intervene with Eurovision like people are gonna watch, like they, you know. What entry do you feel like was carried by the staging? Well, Dola 2018? Yeah. A lot of songs were elevated by the performance. I feel like Adio from Montenegro was elevated. I think um, Serbia was elevated. Grammy season has begun and Moneskin are taking their first shots. Well done. Way back Wednesday, it was winter, spring 2017 and Francesco Gabani was king. Nice. That's a throwback. Eurovision results from 1997 to 2008 without any televotes. 1998, 99, 2000, 2001. Why are we doing so well? What happened? <laughs> I thought juries were supposed to help smaller countries. But it's quite the opposite. Because I'm three. Because I'm six. Two thousand and seven. And two thousand and eight. Send hit auditions for Eurovision Song Contest. Hashtag make send hit host GSC. That will be huge for Eurovision fans. I think so. I want to see juries have to give written criteria for their votes. I understand it's probably hard to say exactly why one song is fifth place and another sixth, but I think it's a bit frustrating that they don't have give any worded a print appraisals when they vote. I would mostly like to have an explanation how is it possible that one country is always ranked last um, by every single jury member and why are some countries always ranked in the, like the top five which ultimately ends up being you know number one. I would really like to have some explanation if like all of the jury members like rank something one two and like 25, 26. I, that's heavily suspicious. Montenegro, uh, Montevizia dropped due to financial and COVID pressures. We will have, however, our national selection as well as Ema Fresh. Um, the submissions are still open. I don't know who can apply. I don't think anyone can. I mean, from any country, but yeah, Ema Fresh is. Has submissions over for another three weeks, I think. Jade Edwin on Eurovision on 
one hand, what's the point of entering a competition if you don't believe you can achieve a good result? But at the same time, your personal validation can't depend on the result because it's so fickle and unpredictable. It's hard not to take things personally. First, names for Eurovision. Australia decides, announced. Isaiah Firebrace, Jaguar um, Jones, Jonesy, I don't know. And and Paulini. Three types of release me listeners. I love this song. I also like it. God, this song is so boring. I wish there was a song that people, that everyone felt the same about. So that has been released the preview of the Grammys 2022 and apparently we have some familiar faces. Eurovision Museum opens in Husavik, Iceland. Brilliant idea. Honestly. On the off topic, I kind of want to visit the Museum of Icelandic Witchcraft and Sorcery in Holmavik, which is actually pretty close. So maybe if you go to check this museum, please go check that one too. And tell me if it's worth it. <laughs> I don't hear that. And my mom. I did not say he, I did not hear that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's my joke, excuse you. <laughs> um a lot of those I don't hear. I do hear the the balls thing from Finland. <laughs> But only because like so many people have commented that that's what it sounds like when I made the YOLO video and yeah. <laughs> Molly Senden during Melfest 2021. I want to see the new Hunger Games, but that means I'll have to look at my ex for two f***ing hours. Well, yeah, 2000. Happy new millennium. Now we had the greatest decade. Let's just carry on. What could possibly go wrong? 2000. Right? I don't like this meme, to be honest. I hear on your skin. No. <laughs> what? Oh, I do hear that. <laughs> oh my god! No! I did not hear my. <laughs> Sorry, Sonia. Dear Fallon, introducing Moneskin, they won Eurovision, right? And that is like America's Got Talent, but things actually happen to them after they win. This tweet has been deleted. This is it, the top post of this week. So apparently Moniskin will be opening for the Rolling Stones in November. And this has been announced on Jimmy Fallon Show. Thank you very much for watching. Have a very spooky Halloween and take care. Bye!